Have you been paying attention to Costco lately? It's been going insane. It's up a hundred dollars since April. No, I haven't. But that's impressive for a traditionally defensive stock. In fact, I have been shopping more often at Costco since COVID, and every time I'm there, it's always packed. Well, that kind of explains this unusual pricing action, but honestly, it also exceeded my expectations. Besides, Costco will of course give you the important market levels at the end. Be sure to subscribe for next week's video if you haven't done so. Looking at their sales in the past two months are through the roof. According to their June data, the adjusted comparable sales surged 14.1% year over year internationally. For their U.S. comparable sales, excluding gas prices and foreign exchange, also expanded 7.8%. The number came in solidly ahead of analysts' expectations. And not only in June, in July, as let's take a look, they also reported comparable sales growth of 13.8%, and their comparable sales, excluding gas prices and foreign exchange, grew about 8.5%. So when investors look at these data. They might think that Costco is not only a defensive stock, but it also is a recovery play. I mean, I kind of get it. The pandemic drove a big sales surge in 2020 due to the lockdown. I would have thought this year might be the toughest year-over-year -year comparison Costco might have to face. But nope, Costco sales momentum continued into the year thanks to a broader surge in retail spending. A lot of institutions on the street are raising Costco's price target, which is another catalyst for stock price to go up. Oppenheimer raised the price target from 450 to 480. BMO set the price target at 515. So we still have about 65 dollar to go, according to BMO. Is this a buy? Well, let's take a look. Costco is strong back then because of its big barrier of entry, defensiveness. And almost guaranteed growth. When I look at Costco now, these fundamentals have not changed, at least to me. So I'm bullish long term for Costco. I agree with you. Costco stock may look a little expensive at nearly 40 times forward earnings, but the company's strong growth and its substantial long term expansion potential are definitely worth the current valuations. Looking at these strong monthly sales number, I feel like. Costco might increase the membership fee, and remember, they don't make much money from selling you groceries. Just so you know, Costco maintains a member renewal rate about ninety、uh, percent, and the annual membership cost either sixty or one twenty, depending on the benefits you choose. So that means the merchandise sales do matter for the company, but the metrics that Wall Street cares about more are mostly related to Costco's member base. Yeah, definitely. Now, if I don't have a position yet and I want to get some as hedge for my account, what should I do? If you don't have a position, hmm, I don't recommend opening one right now, because the speed of the stock price growth is pretty rare for Costco. So that means a pullback can happen anytime. Now that you mention it, they have reported incredible numbers for the past two months. And they are about to turn in their earnings, so the expectation might be a little too high to beat. Exactly, Costco is a good company, but I don't think this is a right time to open a position. And as a matter of fact, according to Factset, in the past two years, if the average price target from analysts on the street is lower than the current share price, Costco usually goes through some kind of pullback, especially since Costco's business model is fairly simple to understand. The valuation is relatively easy, which means that analysts' average price target is more or less accurate, and Costco shares price recently surpassed analysts' average, first time in the past nine months. Which means Costco is due for a pullback. And I think so too, and the timing might be around the next earnings, so around September twenty third. If you don't have a position right now, I think you can go ahead and wait for a pullback then to buy Costco. I, and hopefully buy in bulk and get it at a wholesale price. You know, every time I can make a trip to Costco without getting that one dollar fifty cents hot dog and a soda combo in the food court before I leave, is a fun fact that I want to share. And they'll never raise that price. 
so to the market update, the S&P 500 and Nasdaq Composite hit all time highs while Dow is just a little behind on the on the race. Russell 2000 also reclaimed its 50 day moving average after rebounding from the key level at around 2125, which was right around the bottom of the trading box. The overall market breadth improved a bit this week and cybersecurity stocks were the big winners. Palo Alto Networks are up about 25% this week and closely followed by CrowdStrike, which um, is up about 16%. Speaking of CrowdStrike, congrats on joining the NASDAQ 100 on Thursday and they're reporting earnings next week. So definitely keep an eye on that. And much anticipated speech on Friday from Powell said the Fed will begin scaling back asset purchases before the year end. Well, that's not very surprising, at least to me. The overall market retraced a bit on Thursday, likely from the investors taking profit ahead of Powell's speech. Or maybe from the multiple bomb strike near Kabul airport. Well, rest in peace for the 13 U.S. services members. Yep, this is very sad. Anyway, some support levels to keep your eyes on for next week. Nice support around 15,145 for NASDAQ and around 4,460 for S&P 500. Very well. Also, something worth mentioning for this week. China is drafting rules that would ban data-heavy Chinese firms from going public in the U.S. and crafting something on regulating the algo used by firms in China to make recommendations to users pretty much trying to protect users' privacy and data security. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, feel free to give us a like and subscribe for more content like this.